Hello, my name is Scott Byers. I'm going to demonstrate assembling a set of double cylinders for you today. Um, I'm assuming that you have a double barrel O-ring style manifold. If that's not the case, then this isn't the video for you. Consult your own manufacturer. And the parts that you're going to need today are a set of bands appropriate for the cylinders that you're choosing to use, also a manifold that is appropriate for the cylinders that you choose to use and corresponds with your bands, two one half inch wrenches and a bolt kit. First thing you need to do is put the valves, the independent valves, onto the tanks. So we've installed the valves, the K valves, onto the cylinders. Now we need to put our manifold, the crossbar, onto the cylinders. The, the easiest way to do that is to kind of measure out the distance between the tanks so your crossbar will fit in between them. And then what I like to do is use a beam bag to kind of buttress the tanks so they don't roll on you. Now, with the crossbar, one side's reverse threads, one side standard threads. I like to put the side that's the reverse threads to the left-handed K valve. Both of these, as you thread it on, have to thread at the same time. If one threads sooner than the other one, then you have a chance of cross-threading, you have a chance of the O-rings not matching up, you maybe get some leaks. So you want this to thread at the exact same time, which is a little tricky, and sometimes you're going to have to maybe try more than once. Kind of line it up where it looks straight to you, and then start spinning your valve clockwise. Hopefully you'll catch both of them at the same time and it should be really smooth. So if you feel some tension, which I did feel, back it out a little bit. You want to make sure that this crossbar has play in it the whole time, even when you're putting the bands on. So you have to constantly check that to make sure it does have play. Otherwise, you could bind the O-rings and cause it to leak. The next step is to kind of size up the bands and get ready to install those. And again, you want to make sure you have play as you slide the bands up. So we've got our bands on. We still have play in our manifold. So now we need to start working on our bolt kits. In the bolt kit, you've got a threaded rod and a lock nut. So the easiest way to get the nylon lock nut on is to screw on your wing nut backwards. Put your standard screw on. Hold your standard screw with the wrench and then twist your nylon nut on to the appropriate length. You don't want to leave too many threads exposed on the back end of it showing so that will give you enough length to put your wing and your plate on. Okay, now we need to install the threaded rod through. We take our threaded rod with our lock nut on it, put a plain washer on it, and stick it through the hole to the front. We do this the exact same way on the top and bottom. All right, on the front, put the flat washer on, put your lock washer on, and then your plain nut. All right, and just get that finger tight so the bands don't slide down the tank on you. Now what we want to start doing is determining the height of the band. How high do you want your bands? It's a personal preference. Personally, I like mine right where the tank starts to break. I like to move that top band up right along that edge. And this will be our starting point. Then we'll measure 11 inches on center to get that bottom band in. What I also like to do at this point is measure the top of the bands from just where the valve ends to the top of the band just to make sure that the measurement's appropriate so the bands aren't rough skew. All right, so top band right at the break is where I like it and I've measured all the way around so we know that that one's good so we can start to tighten that one down a little bit and again maintaining play. This is where two wrenches come in handy. Hold the back and just tighten the front down. Now you don't want it too tight here because you want to tighten them up equally but just where it's not going to move. Our bolts are installed and we still have play in our manifold. Now we need to measure the distance between the bolts on 11 inch centers. 11 inches on center 
is standard width for back plates and wings. So once we've got it measured out, then we can start the tightening process of the bands. Continue to tighten, and we just continue this process until they're pretty snug where they're not going to go anywhere. And you can take these nuts, cinch those down at the distance where you want your, your orientation of your crossbar. Some people like it a little more forward so they can reach it. Some people like it straight up. Whatever your preference is, tighten these two screws down and it'll stay in place. These babies are ready to get filled and we can go diving.